woman's life when we stopped to ponder yesterday. The transformation from then until now, the people we've met and been along the way. The prompt of the musing comes in an array of fashion. An old photograph, a familiar scent, or the recent exodus of a lover whose footprints led us to the father whose humanity broke our hearts first. You see, spring cleaning is when it happens to me when finally I give those favorite pair of jeans fashionably faded perfectly at the knee to the local Goodwill. Salvation Army are my favorite niece. You see, this time I will not convince myself that one day they will fit again. <laughs> or make my butt look quite the same again. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> or that I will suffer to commute myself to the woman bygone again. You see, these jeans will not ever kiss these lips or hug these cheeks again, and the beauty, finally, is that I don't want them anymore. <laughs> they are not quite big enough to hold the woman I am today. You see, these jeans belong to a girl whose favorite song had more to do with how she can move to the bass and what she can learn from the lyrics, and she wore them well, baby. Models in with flawless skin and the insecurity of a thousand impotent men. A good girl who compromised until sacrifice became her addiction. I am not so flexible. You see, these are her jeans and they don't quite fit me. Not anymore. Y'all can't relate. Y'all just entertaining me. So I know the world will not slow down, no matter how fiercely I stretch my fist to the sun. I know the fire next time is now. I know that all the babies are mine, that we are all homeless if one is sleeping on the street. I know that I come from a people who will outwalk a lie on broken toes, who will fight back beyond the very end, and I know how to pray. I know I am always praying. No matter the words you think you hear, I am always in conversation with spirit. See, we converse like two old women on a Mississippi wooden porch, chipped paint, head scarves, sweet tea, dogs barking at strangers, flies at our feet. I know God like that. Don't you? I know there are moments that we have to decide to be as beautiful as we really are. Because being beautiful is a decision. Kindness is a decision. Poetry is a decision. Getting out of bed is a decision. Love is a decision. I know that we are the most resilient and fragile and broken and weak and fabulous history has known. I know that we are a denim people, baby, who clean, who clean up well in the wash, who are focused and afraid. I know that we have swallowed our voices and fear and rage and joy long enough. I know that we do not fit in or out, that we are heavily hued and magical, textured and raw, that we are roar and whisper and breathy and intuition and fire, that we are body people, drumming and bass people, wood and sand, flame and chocolate of all these hues, and I know the bravery it takes to hang on to hope. I know that I will take my last breath one day, this is not an if. But before I do, I'm going to tell these stories so shut up in my bones, I drag around like wet towels, sopping up tears my grandmother's mother passed down. Stories that come to me in the night from folks I don't know, ain't got nothing to do with me except they know I know how to get a prayer through and a story straight. I know the further we separate ourselves from each other is the further we separate ourselves from ourselves. 
You think I don't know my own face when I see it? You think I ain't walking around with your feet, with your hands and thighs? Those are my knees and teeth. These are your lips and lungs. I know that we are all one. What does it matter all this good I have if heavy on your mind so muddy you can't inhale longer than you blink? What good are fancy dresses and red bottom shoes if they about to cut off her father's feet? I know sometimes the clouds get low. I know there are days I feel stuck in a mass of sadness and fear and anxiety. Sudoku my brain so mad I forget the numbers to dial, but I know how to reach. I know how to be still. I know how to rock and sing. I know how to cry. I know how to remember how good God's been to me. I know how to wave hand. I know how to give thanks. I know how to close eyes. I know how to know that clouds pass. I know ain't none of this easy, so I know how to give you me when clouds come to you. I know that therapy session should be held at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Yeah. Prayed over by a greasy hand man with a handkerchief across his forehead, I know that. I know food ain't free, but I know how to cut mine in four so we can all eat. I know it's up to you. I know it's up to me. I know I am learning how to forgive. I know that forgiveness does not mean that the stories won't rise, but I know how to let them out. The same one by one way they got in there. I know that we are wonderful. I know that we forget how wonderful we are. I know how to remember the next time I do. I know to open my eyes and to look right into you. Yeah. This poem is called, Can You Hear Me Okay? Yes. Y'all yes. say yes so well. <laughs> this poem is called A Run-On for Sabrina Fulton and Other Mothers When a T-Shirt is Not Enough. Yes. You heard that? Mm -hmm. Sabrina Fulton cannot carry her grief to the white woman at the phone company and explain that a man killed her son and got away with it. Because who cares about black boys anyway? And even though the story is no longer on the news, his picture is still on the coffee table next to the Bible and the Vogue mags and the bills. And is it possible to get an extension on the mortgage and the car payments because sleeping only on the couch for a month straight and going nowhere fast shouldn't cost as much anyway, right? But who understands this except someone who has tasted thorns for breakfast because the doctor said eat something and take something and try to get some sleep? But who can sleep and think straight when every time eyes close, floating Arizona tea cans grow monster ears? And who can go outside and see teenagers wearing t-shirts that say they remember and they will never forget? Who can form sentences and why are mothers supposed to be this strong and pray this hard about black boys that are supposed to come home every night and not get shot down and killed? Our black boys and our black girls Girls, and where are our girls' faces on shirts? And why are shirts so necessary? And dead babies are not fashion. And our children are supposed to come home and not die. And this was not God's plan. Not all this. What God would plan this? What God would need an angel so badly it would have to take hours and these? And how could anyone need a writing prompt when there are babies, lives to save, and streets to walk down, and teachers to meet with, and drug dealers to cuss out, and hair to braid, and women's bodies found dead in Atlanta? And our white boys and girls need needed in heaven too. Mm. Yeah. We still good? Yeah. As long as we still good. I heard a yup. Yeah. Oh, that was a black girl yup. Yup. From the, the, the body roll yup. Yup. I know that yup. I can't even see you, but I heard it. When a woman whispers a prayer for you, she folds the thought of you into her class knuckles. When a woman closes her eyes and sets your face next to her list of loves and blessings and questions, know that this is the best poem she will create. And so, so I wrote this poem because I wrote this poem at a time where everybody was talking about what they were against. And so I wrote this poem about, uh, so what are you for? I know what you are against, but what are you for? And so I will be for love today, for honoring freedom and honoring lives, for gospel and jazz, for rhythm and soul, for moan from the bottom of my belly, for hand claps and hallelujahs, living just one life through many incarnations, and the sanctified souls who hold my head will not ever allow me to forget the lessons of my past. But when I don't remember, 
and am pulled into the drama of my bygone, the great grandmother of my angel. A crackled black blue spirit gently sticks me with her crown and I scream, ouch, don't poke me like that. <laughs> And I will lay my blues to rest today and swear, never pick them up again, except to remind tomorrow the hours that I fell and how I got this scar and why some say all the right words and graduate from all the right schools but only get so far from today. Not the contents of my wallet or weight, not my relationship status or work, my circumstances shall not decide my worth, I am flawless. Gaining understanding new on my journey at every return. I began in the mind of God who is beginning less. And so I too am without a start. The angels up in heaven, the stars in the sky know it's true. So if you don't too, well then you are in the few because I am all right with me. With freckles, thick thighs, bald head and big feet. And the grown woman way my breasts hang and booty pokes a little, I am wonderful. <laughs> and more than woman, more than stories and poems, more than black and painter, I am more than water and daughter, and not just chest and blood and bones and flesh. I am that I am, as all of you are me too, and I am you. And so what is it to be Christian or Catholic? Jewish or Muslim, science of mind or Baha'i. It doesn't even matter that some do not recognize the awesome outstanding of the Most High. See, my religion is love. So don't ask me what I am. It should only be important to you that I exist at all. And so I ask if all the things around you should quickly fade away, then who would you believe in? Or rather, what would you stand for today? Okay, I'm wrapping up. <laughs> but y'all all right? Yeah. Work it out? Did I get somebody's permission to work it out? Wow. This poem is called Dear Jaha. Dear Jaha, loving yourself is showing up in the world as your word, as your commitment to family, to art, and justice. It is knowing that love matters, your love matters, your words, your hugs, and hellos. It is not being swallowed by the headlines of the day. Even today, when white Mississippi teen runs over black man for fun, police say it is not a hate crime. When you cannot manage the lows or come down from the highs, loving yourself is forcing your feet to stop moving, your knees to bend, your body to still, allowing yourself to be as the ugliest moments wash over you. I do not know that the waters will not drown you. Every episode will not end well, I promise. Only this is true. A lifetime of last times until the next time, and deciding in every right now to choose love. Loving yourself is knowing that your love is powerful enough to hold itself up. Loving yourself is using your hands to serve someone else. What did you do today? How did you show up in the world so that someone else is better? A better that matters and makes a difference in the world, on your block, in the car, at the stoplight next to you. Did you hold a hand? Did you give a heart? Loving yourself is loving yourself to, enough to reach down past your words and give your whole heart beating to at least someone. Did you listen to a story or blow a nose? Did you let a stranger share her God with you? Oh, Jaha, that is the best. Wash her face rainbow after the telling of each blessing. Did you unbusy your moment long enough to hear him say, I love you? Did you see his shoulders fall? Be brave enough to wait for shoulders to fall before you turn away. Loving yourself is being committed to someone else's win. It is knowing when enough is enough and when time to rest. To let love fill itself up again in you. Loving yourself is giving it away. It is knowing that your whole life, everything you know and everything you don't, all that you have forgiven and everything you hold is now and now again. To love yourself is to know that life is only right now and everything you carry into the next right now is everything you carry into the next right now. 
My name is Jahaz Ayanabu. Thank you.